Mr. Revolver Guy here with DayAtTheRange.com. Another episode of 10 millimeter testing. Factory ammunition. The test performed today will be with the Sig Sauer 10 millimeter auto 180 grain V crown jacketed hollow point. The velocity out of the V-Crown hollow point Sig Sauer ammunition should be about 1,250 feet per second. That generates about 624 foot-pounds of energy. And we will be testing initially in the Colt Delta Elite XE. We'll put the first five rounds through the Colt Delta Elite XE. And across the chronograph, looking at accuracy as well as the velocity. After testing the 10 millimeter Sig Sauer V Crown ammunition through our Colt Delta Elite XE test platform, we will now be putting across the chronograph the next 10 rounds through 6 inch barrels. One, the Para Elite Hunter. 1911 six inch long slide. We will be comparing the chronograph results from the 1911 against the Ruger Blackhawk six inch barrel. Trying to understand the difference in the cylinder gap on a revolver versus no cylinder gap in the 1911. This will be a fun and interesting test. And last but not least, I can't go home with five rounds of ammunition left in the box. So we're gonna put those last five rounds through the Ruger Match Champion, GP100 and 10 millimeter auto. 4.2 inch barrel, we will compare these chronograph results against the other chronograph results and don't forget to visit dayattherange.com 10 millimeter loading data to see all of the previous tests and the recorded results in our lovely Excel spreadsheet. Enough with the chatter, let's get out to the range and put some rounds across the chronograph. First up, Delta Elite with SIG V Crown 180 grain ammunition from six yards back. Delta Elite and Sig Sauer Ammunition. Not quite. 1250 feet per second but now we are going to move to the para elite hunter so before moving on to the para elite hunter we've examined the brass from the six hour ammunition out of the delta elite no brass bulge and no pressure warnings so now let's move on to the para elite hunter
Seems like the SIG ammunition picked up some velocity in the 6 inch barrel from Para. Let's see. 1255. Remember, 1250 is the advertised velocity on the box. Visit dayattherange.com for 10 millimeter load data as we add this to our spreadsheet. We will have the foot pounds included in the spreadsheet. Next up is the SIG V-Crown in the 6 inch Ruger 10 millimeter Blackhawk. We'll see how much a difference the cylinder gap plays in velocity across the chronograph. Wow, look at that, 1293. This is going to be interesting. It seems like uh, the SIG V-Crown ammunition picked up greater velocity in the revolver over the Para Elite 1911. I really thought that because of the cylinder gap, you would see a decrease in velocity. Though this Ruger is built like a tank and there's a very minimal cylinder gap, Let's look at the results. I did notice the extreme spread in standard deviation uh, was a little bit higher in the Ruger Blackhawk. Maybe that's because of the cylinder gap. But tell me what you think over at dayattherange.com. And last but not least, the Ruger Match Champion in 10 millimeter, 4.2 inch barrel. We're going to finish out the last five rounds of today across the chronograph. See how it compares to the six inch Ruger Blackhawk and the six inch Para Elite Hunter 1911. Unfortunately, my camera locked up and stopped recording. At least I still have the data to present to everyone for the Ruger Match Champion. As you can see on the screen, shot 1, velocity 1179, shot 2, velocity 1173, shot 3, velocity 1197, shot 4, velocity 1141, and shot five, velocity 1174. So in the Ruger Match Champion 4.2 inch barrel, as you can see, velocity was a lot lower. I did take the cylinder gap measurements of both the Ruger Blackhawk as well as the Ruger Match Champion. 
On the 6 inch Ruger Blackhawk, the cylinder gap was .004. On the Ruger Max Champion, the cylinder gap was .005. Pretty odd that the velocity is so low on the Ruger Max Champion. I can say that the Ruger Max Champion also did turn in the worst group of the day. So, SIG, V-Crown Ammunition, and Ruger Match Champion, not necessarily a match. But the SIG, V-Crown Ammunition did perform quite well in the other three pistols for the day. Visit dayattherange.com, 10 millimeter load data, to see the output of today's test. Mr. Revolver Guy, dayattherange.com.